long as I sit here, it'll be fine. And we can just, we can just, can I just get comfy here? Can I just get, can I just get comfy? Can I just, okay, you know, we'll just, we'll just fucking go with this. Hi, I'm guillotine enthusiast and talking head, Duke. And I'm back to try and make videos. So my life kind of fell apart for like the past three months for various reasons. But now that I'm no longer having an active health crisis or, oh God, I don't even know if I'm in frame right now or what my lighting's doing. So just, 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 you know what? I'm funny and it's, it's fine. It's fine. So now that I'm no longer having an active health crisis or in oh, a month of incredible overtime at work and also I'm medicated for ADHD. So that's exciting. I'm very excited to do things with that and like finally have free time to fix my life. Holy shit. God damn. Vivens is such a good improvement to my life. I want to try and get back into, you know, making videos. It's fun. I'm also really worried this earring is like bapping my microphone. So as opposed to, you know, trying to uh, do a semi-satirical get ready with me as I've done in the past, instead I'm just gonna take some inspiration from place I keep, I'm fully certain I'm just extending out of the frame as I talk too much because whatever. Taking some inspiration from like some delightful smaller makeup channels which have been blessed into my life via YouTube algorithm. Shout out to primarily Nisi Pisa, who you should all go watch and enjoy. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have a chit chat about new makeup that's been released recently because I am filming this on December 3rd, which means Black Friday is finally finished. So we should, we should hopefully be at the, the end of the holiday nightmare hellscape launch extravaganza. And uh, let's, I'm just gonna open trend mood and we're gonna scroll through and we're gonna talk about what we see and I already have opinions about some of the stuff. So also I guess perfumes, there's, there's, there's gonna be some perfume talk. I'm excited for perfume talk. Okay, okay. Trend mood, what do we see on trend mood? Here we have Manny Mua Morphe doing a eye and highlight and brush. This is, uh, ugh. God, I can't bring myself to care about this. Next, uh, Kim Kardashian West. Also, once again, boring, but better production values at least. Nudes, another neutral gold and metallics and shiny neutrals. Warm, shiny neutrals. Why is everything warm, shiny neutrals right now? I'm gonna fucking scream. These lip glosses are cute, but, uh, boop, boop, ba -doop, boop, boop, boop. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to, we're gonna come back to that. Obligate, like, let's talk about color pop because, Jesus Christ. Uh, I started following Trend Mood, uh, fairly recently, quite honestly, and I don't think it's improved my life, but also just the, I, I, I know everybody just jokes about, like, how much color pop is launching things, and I, oh my god, there has just been a, a floor, a flurry, a swarm, a flutter, I don't know what the group term is for this, uh, it's all butterfly themed, and it's all, like, cute, basic neutrals, it's, it's fun. They're all very cute. They're all like super cute, but also really underwhelming. And just, I can't tell them apart in my brain, like at all, like at all between like this. Okay. What do we have? What do we have? We have good as gold, which has fucking, oh boy. My ADHD meds have just worn off. So I'm flatlining in real time in front of a camera. Metallic, neutral, warm eyeshadow, and some... Oh, it's liner. I could probably call this an anti haul but there is something in here that I am gonna be buying, and I'm mad about it. I don't have anything to say about ColourPop right now. It's just so much and so overwhelming, and just, oh my god. House Cosmetics. Laboratories. House Laboratories. Lady Gaga's Amazon exclusive deal with the devil released... Uh, an eyeshadow palette called Glam Room, 
and it's once again warm sparkly neutrals and there's a red in there and you know what i really like red eyeshadow i'm my brain turns off when i see red eyeshadow but there's just been so much of it recently i just don't i don't care i don't care elf has liquid eyeshadows i've always been kind of curious to cry cry to try liquid eyeshadows they all look fun i could definitely be sold on it i though admittedly my bougie ass was like, oh, go get the expensive steel ones in weird colors. Ugh. I do not need more metallics in my life right now. I have between like Sephora sales section getting me a Fenty Kilowatt palette and also that uh, Black Friday was goddamn bonkers and Melt restocked the Shapeshift quad stack for the first time in forever. Um... I, I need to buy mats. I need to buy a matte palette. What is what is this Moschino ripoff? This looks like it should be a Moschino gimmick, but it's not. It, so we have this Moschino knockoff by Revolution Beauty. They're, this packaging is insufferably cute. The color range is... No, I don't need this. I really don't. This doesn't speak to me. I consider these as a gift, though. This be a good gift. Oh boy, a foundation launched. So just just looking at looking at the way this is displayed for Instagram and like Origins Pretty in Bloom Flower Infused Long Wear Foundation. Equal parts. This looks like it probably has. This this probably. Probably. All of this 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 circ it probably has an okay shade range like you see, a, you see you can definitely see like dark light and there's 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 a gradient but also it's so disjointedly organized that they're they, i it feels like somebody's bamboozling them or us they're bamboozling us into not giving them shit for you know being a little tardy <laughs> oh that was that was terrible <coughs> Okay, what else is in here? Uh, Jeffree Star has been doing things. That's... That's great. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. I'm gonna be super duper honest. If I... If I didn't just object to Jeffree Star in general, I would love to buy his shit. And these are... These are really pretty. But you know what else is really great about these, like, high gloss, high glitter, fun colors? Uh... Fenty already exists. Hopefully Fenty comes out with a green highlighter. I would love for Fenty to come out with a green highlighter. That would be super duper nifty and swell. But also, once again, Melt Black Friday was goddamn bonkers. And uh, I got Ghost Light. So hopefully that's cute. Moving on from one of numerous makeup hell twinks. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've never heard of this. I've never heard of uh, Linda Halberg Cosmetics, but Jesus Christ. Christ, these are pretty. Like, this this packaging is just... Ugh. I don't need... I Well, I don't think I have this green, but also, like, I don't fucking need this. I want it, though. I'm... Oh. Oh. Okay, I think that's everything. That's every... Okay. Well, it's almost everything, but... Pat McGrath is trying to kill me. I really like Pat McGrath stuff. I really do. I I'm like you see all those pretty glitter I have on. This is also primarily uh, Pat McGrath, partly because I a uh, friend, acquaintance, someone on the internet. I mentioned that I got like a tiny, tiny palette that I spent more money than I should have on, and I don't regret it. But also, I, I could have spent that money better. Partly because like. He mentioned, gee, it would be great if you could just, like, use a bunch of that all at once. I want to see what that would look like. And also largely because I am the sad clown that jingles depressed across the floor of the court whenever she calls me. Honk. Honk. So, all of this is lead up to say, Pat McGrath is making a Star Wars collaboration, which is, sure, whatever. And, you know, we're just going to go through this. We're going to go through this real quick piece by the sort of like least exciting to most exciting but i don't know if it's a good exciting but we're just gonna we're gonna get through this together uh so step one we have 
four lip balms, which are already colors that exist in the main line. And you can just buy them whenever you want. They're not priced any different. Uh, the, the C-3PO? Not the C-3PO. The R2-D2. I don't like Star Wars, and I ultimately shouldn't care about this collaboration at all, but we're gonna get to it. We're, we're gonna get there. The R2-D2 packaging for clear lip balm, that's cute. That's, that's really cute, honestly. This red one, though, this, 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 this red one right here, that's, that's weird. I don't like the lip packaging. And then, okay, so we've got two new, two completely new, I think, six quads. Um, they both look, they both look nice. As always, the swatches are super pretty. I th think, I think, I think I like Galactic Gold slightly better, but once again, this is all like, this is 65 USD. Actually, no, back to the lip balms for a second. Who's paying 40 United States of America dollars for a lip balm in a vaguely Star Wars themed package? Can you people just give that money to me instead? I'm poor. I think these are cute, um, but uh, I have a lot of conflicted feelings about this, uh, this collection because the last thing in it is, I'm gonna sound completely crazy, I am completely crazy. The last piece of the collection is uh, Mothership for Decadence, but in a Star Wars themed case, which I'm, mm, 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 I, mm. okay, one, i looking at this group shot on Trend Mood, it's, uh, that looks ugly. I think that's ugly. I really wish I want the classic. So, in case you aren't up to date on... So we have the big 10-piece palettes, and they turn out, and they, they come out regularly. They're all very pretty. I own number three, Subversive? Yeah. Pat McGrath naming conventions just, like, slide off of my brain. What do we have on here? We have Clear. Lip Balm names. We have Clear. Flesh 3. Nude Astral and Gold Astral. Like, what? What's Flesh 2? Is there a Flesh 4? Is there a flesh one? Is there a flesh zero? Ugh, ugh. Okay, so back back on track. I believe there are now eight motherships that have been released. You have the first three, which are kind of like a coherent set. Um, I kind of want them, but also I can't justify. There is too much overlap between them to really justify it, especially at that price point. So mm, no. Uh, then we have. Decadence, which I think is well, number four, which I think is probably the most uh, individual amongst all of the motherships. And it was mysteriously limited edition, and I don't actually recall if this was announced as being like limited edition when it released. I couldn't get it when it was released because I'm poor. But also, for whatever reason, this goddamn palette just... its It's been my white whale because it was limited edition, and just so, so, uh, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. And I did actually seriously contemplate, like, dropping $400 on, like, Poshmark for one, or 35 for that one defunct brand that made, like, exacting dupes of the first five motherships before they went under. All of this to say is, like, I've I've really wanted this palette for forever, but now we're getting it as just sort of a weird new limited run in a collaboration, and it's this collaboration is five pre-existing things repackaged as Star Wars, and it feels bad. It feels gross. My point is, this is this this is four year-round permanent pre-existing pre-existing. This reflection of my glasses is pissing me off, but I also needed to see, so. Um, this is four, four, four pre-existing. These are 40 USD lip balms in just cute packaging. Two new, and they're cute. They're okay. They're, they're very purple and sparkly, and uh, I don't know. 
wrong, but I'm not feeling it. And then we have this this palette, which was just limited edition for no goddamn reason. And I've wanted it for forever. And I'm probably going to buy it. And I'm not happy about it. This just feels so skeezy. This just feels so sleazy and weird and kind of off for the brand. But also capitalism and fat Disney cash. And also, also as an aside, I know for, I have this feeling deep in my gut that if I do buy this, and like I said, I'm probably going to buy this. I'm probably going to purchase fucking Decadence Star Wars Edition. <laughs> uh, as soon as I do that, uh, regular casing will become available and I'm just going to scream and die. So that's, that's my thoughts on, that's my thoughts on Pat McGrath, Star Wars. <laughs> one last palette. One last, one last real makeup launch before going on to like perfumes and I can calm, maybe calm down about perfumes, but no, I can't calm down about perfumes. We finally have a look at the, uh, the Kesha Rose Beauty Fucks the World palette and it's so pretty. It is so goddamn pretty. Watching, watching, skimming the James Charles does Kesha's makeup with the new Kesha makeup. It did look really good and it did apply really good. And also like this, this zipper tassel, this, this, this is good packaging. These are good colors. I really like this color range. I like this color story. It's, it's pretty and it's fun. And I would, cons I would straight up actually just buy this even if it weren't attached to Kesha. Actually, the fact that it is attached to Kesha makes me more because, more, um, more hesitant because, like, do you really need your celebrity makeup? Do you really need, no, you don't. You don't, you can, I could just stream High Road whenever that comes out. January? It's, it's fucking pretty, and it's like, I think announced at 36 USD, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Exchange rate be damned. Last thing, last, 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 re last quotation mark there's like eight things in this launch and i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about all of them real quick in sort of a some kind of order from like once again less to more exciting so lush released eight new perfumes and three new body sprays uh the body sprays are Seasonal staples, celebrate Yognog, Golden Pear. I don't care. I don't particularly like any of those smells enough to want to smell like them. Like as a smells, as a fragrant smell, as a perfume. Also, I just don't like seasonal products, which I feel like my slightly unhinged rant about Pat and McGrath uh, earlier, like a few minutes ago at most, once this is done being edited, might indicate. <laughs> so, first off, Thousand Kisses Deep has been moved from the Lush Black Label line to the Lush White Label line, which means you can now buy it in stores. Uh, it's nice. I, I had a chance to smell all these in stores. I, it's, it's cute. It's warm. It's cozy. I might grab it. Uh, also, Lord of Misrule, now a year-round, I think it's, yeah, these are all year-round perfume. Also, nice, warm, cozy, I'm not in love with it, but, like, I like having perfume options, and it's, it's a nice smell. American Cream, don't know. I've never liked the smell, I don't like, I don't like any of Lush's, uh, strawberry, strawberry, uh, smells. It's just, it just kind of smells like dollar store vinyl to me. You know, so that's that weird, sweet, plastic, kind of nostalgic, but also I'm not about it. I, I don't need this in my life. Rose Jam, now a perfume. D I know, ew. Ugh, I, I don't like Rose Jam. Um, no. My main issue with Rose Jam is just geranium is a very lover-hate fragrance, and I can't stand it. Rose Jam smells like you have taken a spoonful of sugar and you are dissolving it in your mouth slowly, but then mysteriously inside the spoonful of sugar is just a penny. Like it's just a sweet metallic experience and I, I can't. Junk, junk. Uh, it's light, fresh, lemon, rosemary, sage. It's very 
it's a it's a citrus and green smells and i'm really into it honestly it's like a sexy deodorant except it's a perfume maybe a little top note heavy i don't know i actually don't know where rosemary and sage fall in terms of like top mid base but it's not it's not a very long it doesn't seem like it's gonna have a good long wear i think love was okay it's just it's rose it's jasmine it's ylang ylang it's got bergamot it's it's a safe floral I know I liked paint. I, I'm, I'm staring at I'm staring at the website right now. I'm looking at ginger and pansy, and like I know I liked one of these, and I didn't like one of them, and I cannot for the life of me remember which one is which. So that's uh, that sucks. But ginger has ginger, bergamot, sandalwood. Overall, sounds nice, well rounded. Um, blah, 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 I'm tired. Wow. Pansy, I see we have we have rosemary, we have bergamot, we have labanum. I'm not saying that right. I heard from a nice salesperson that uh, come January there are apparently going to be more year-round perfume launches, so that's exciting. I really love perfumes, but also I have a synthetic fragrance allergy, so I can't really do most. Um, I can't I can't do most commercial perfumes. And Lush, this means Lush is easily accessible as, like, a fragrance option, just because it's minus Snow Fairy, mostly, and there are a few others, but mostly, mostly Snow Fairy. Ugh. Like, everything is, like, a delightful, all-natural experience. I feel like I'm way too close to the camera for this. Whatever. And like, I, I do want to look into, I always want to like look into more, I always want to look into more like online. I would love to try Black Phoenix Alchemy Labs, but also, uh, shipping to Canada is fucking garbage. <laughs> and I know I have an example. I took a screen cap of the one time I tried to import like, oh, I'll just get like two samples. And then, uh, shipping was $20 on a $9 purchase. I'm not doing that. This is the pain of living in Canada if you don't hit, like, you have to make the shipping just a I think that's also why I've never ordered from ColourPop, because, like, I, every time I sort of, like, fill up a cart for ColourPop, it's like, oh, yeah, I can just get, like, a cheap thing or two, and then, like, $15, $20 of shipping. I was like, oh, I really should just spend $50 US and get free shipping. I, you know, I don't want to spend $50 on ColourPop. I don't. I want like three things from them. It's ugh. so. Anyways, that's the, we've we've had a nice chat about things that have recently released, and some of them are nice. Some of them are. Some of them are. The monkey paw curled on my desire, on my urge to get fucking mothership for decadence, and now we're here with kitschy, cash grabby Star Wars collaboration. Anyways, thanks for watching. Tell all your friends about me. Like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, interact. Tell me I'm pretty. Or tell me that my makeup's terrible, but also bite me. Love ya!